Once you have applied vertex color and added ID maps to your meshes and you have bring them into Substance Painter, the next step is to bake your textures so that it will apply a PBR effect on it more clearly. Now, what is the PBR? It's a physical based rendering technique that flows a real time, real world lighting, okay, which is really important for your game design sometimes and also for animation uh, in different cases. So let's see how we can do this baking of texture in lesson number four inside Substance Painter. Are you taking cake? No. Pizza? Then what? Baking texture material. So let's start with lesson four. Now, the Substance Painter files are quite large due to its feature of baking normals, bumps, and diffuse, and etc. all other things. So whenever you bring any FBX file inside Substance and then you save it and you bake the texture, the file becomes a little large. So this is what you have to keep in mind. Other thing is that Substance Painter accepts the FBX file. So make sure you export FBX file from your 3D application to import inside Substance Painter. Now, to bring any file inside Substance Painter, first of all, you have to close the welcoming screen. Let me make this space a little uh, roomy for my uh, model to import. So now you have to go to the file and you have to press new. As soon as you will do that, you will get this new project window. Inside the new project window, you will have all these options in front of you. The first thing is the template. So there are a lot of templates inside the Substance Painter whenever you are making a new file. So there are lists of different kind of, you can say templates. You have VRA material template, you have PBR uh, template for uh, Subsurface, uh, like subsurface uh, scattering, you have for glossiness, you have for other things, but we will keep the PBR metallic roughness as it is. Okay, so we are not going to change this one for this part. Then you have document resolution. As larger your document resolution is, you will have high quality of textures appearing on your model, but this can be changed later on. So for now, I will keep it 1024, which is quite good enough to see how the texture will look like and if we want to see the final result we can increase the document resolution at any time normal map format we will keep it as it is direct text because some of you might have something different i have direct text and open GL, but i will keep direct text compute tangent space for per fragment so this is per fragment it will count per uh, fragment and it will compute its tangent space which we don't need it at this point now if you want to import the cameras so you can do that if you want to auto unwrap so you can do that which is for the advanced uh, unwrapping of the uvs so we will keep it as this if you're working on udem suppose if you're working in mari and you're creating uh, udems that same thing you can do inside the substance painter also you can have udems which are basically u is basically your dimension okay and dim means then uh, dimension so u dim u dimension so that's what we uh, use because as you know we have u and v okay so these are the dimensions for the uv mapping so if you don't know about this i have clearly explained this in my 3d studio max and maya essential full courses which you can watch in, uh, like whenever you are free so uh, do watch them and here you can see this information icon you can click here and it will guide you to the those tutorials then we have a uh, rest nothing here other than that so what we need to do is here we have to select our fbx file our XBX, uh, fbx file is our model which we have created in maya with UVs, vertex, and uh, channel ID, like ID maps. So I will click on select. As soon as I will click on select, it will ask me where is the file. So this file, basically, I have already uploaded. 
you can check the description below. You can download the lesson files and it, you can find that, uh, this file over there. It's called retro underscore tv dot fps. I will click this on this file, press open, and I'm ready to go. I will not change anything at all. Just I will select the file, keep as it is everything, and I will press OK. As soon as I will press OK, it will start importing it, and you can see I have my TV model over here. The TV model at this stage is not baked yet, so I cannot use it at, with the uh, vertex uh, color or you can say ID maps. So those will not work. So in that, for that, I have to bake my texture. Now, if you will click on the texture set list here, you will see all these parts which we have mapped inside our uh, 3D application, whether it is Maya or 3D Studio Max. So the materials, whenever you put different kind of materials, so if you're putting different materials on different uh, parts, so those will become different set maps. Or if you keep them separate, they will become like a uh, like set over here, like a texture set. Okay, so we have one is for back casing, which is basically this part. Okay, then we have a front ca or like casing, which is basically this part, if you can see. Then we have middle, you can see this one with the middle. Okay, then uh, we have here parts, basically, this is uh, small parts of the TV. So they are divided into two different ways. One is this one, you can see that few of them are here. Okay, and then I have here TV tube. Now, what is a TV tube? If I will hide this one, so you can see there is a small part inside which is like a TV tube. So this is why uh, it's added by the by the modeler of this uh, the television. Uh, he added this so that you don't see anything hollow from this grid. So there should be something blocking the view, so it will look like at least there is a tube inside. Okay, so for that purpose, it was added. So these are the uh, texture uh, like sets over here, okay, which you can see on the screen. So you can navigate easily, go like you do in Maya. It follows the same Maya's like uh, viewports, uh, like shortcuts. Okay, one thing here is that if I will go to my display setting, okay, I have all, all of these which we discussed in our first lesson. Okay, so we have here the camera. Inside the camera, we have a field of uh, view and we have focal length. If you want, you can change this. Okay, but I want to keep it as it is. Right now, it is 50 by 17. But if I will change this one, you can see that uh, it will zoom in. And when I will zoom out, it will look more orthographic. Okay, so I will turn this uh, to lower value. And then when I will try to zoom in you can see it's p star okay so this is what your uh, focal length do it works like a, uh, works like all the other cameras which are usually inside any 3d application so i will keep it as it is i will not change it okay and above here you can see our view right now i'm in the material view so if i press c on my keyboard so that will help me to switch between different views here. So I have a lot of views over here. So uh, I can go to any view by just pressing C and it will keep on moving. So right now I have not baked the texture. So you can see they all looks a little different here. Okay. So they all look like uh, actually flat. So, but if I will press M on my keyboard, it will go back to the material mode here. So this is how you can view different kind of uh, view options. So let's bake our texture now. To bake the textures, you have to go to the texture set setting. So once you are in the texture set settings, if you will go down, you will see here mesh maps here. Okay. Now in the mesh maps, you will see bake mesh maps. Okay. These are the texture sets, uh, like channels that are included right now. You can add others as well but i will i don't want to add it i will keep it as it is 
Now I will go to the bake mesh maps. Okay. So as soon as I will click, it will give me a, uh, those maps that I want to bake. At this stage, I don't want the normal because I don't have any normal right now and I don't have any thickness. Thickness is basically for if you have if you are uh, working on uh, something like subsurface scattering and you want to have a thickness of your object how thick you want the object or a skin of a person so that light can uh, pass through so for that purpose so this i don't need it so i will uncheck both of them now inside the common you will see there is an output file size now this output file size is the size of your file that you want to export this can be also changed later on but at this stage i will keep it 1024 okay later on you can change it if you want if you can go up to 8 or uh, 8k but i will keep it as it is right now because i don't want to change it at this stage because not, uh, it's only for exporting other things i will keep it as it is apply diffusion Yes, we want diffusion on our object. We want to see uh, like the maps over there. Then we have here uh, the uh, like a uh, max frontal distance, a uh, max rear distance. This is basically uh, about the uh, you can say uh, like a clipping, like a clipping of an image. If you go far or near, you can see that. If I will increase or decrease this, then uh, it, uh, if I zoom into my v, uh, in my uh, like if I will zoom into my object, it will start disappearing because of the uh, like a different kind of setting. But I will keep it as it is uh, because these are the fine settings here. Now, anti-aliasing, do you want? You can choose. Okay. I will keep it none. I don't want to change anything. Okay. Uh, match, I will keep it always because it will keep on matching the objects from how it was made to how it is how it is in substance painter other than these things i will keep it as it is these are the suffix which will uh, be added at the end of the file suppose if you're uh, exporting for gaming in general you know, anything like a low polygon high polygon so it will keep low and high at the end of each uh, file name of whatever texture you are exporting so now let's move to the world space normal world space normal we don't have actually uh, like a lot of things because we are not using anything normal over here but i will keep it checked it doesn't matter now in id if you will go this is where we created the vertex color map id id map inside our 3d application so those were what those were vertex color that we added now here you have all the texture sets i have tv back casing first now, color source, I don't want to keep it material color. I want to keep the vertex color because we kept it vertex color. And I want the same thing for all of these. So, what I will do here is that I will choose vertex color and then I will press apply to all. What it will do, it will apply vertex color to all of those objects. Okay. Ambient inclusion, everything I will keep it as it is. I will not change anything. Curvature, I will keep it everything as it is. Everything is fine nothing you need to change here one more thing over here uh, we can do here let's go back to the main inclusion there is ignore back face so it says never so we can choose always over here because i don't want to apply ambient occlusion on the back of any object because we are not able to see that in our object in this case otherwise if you have something that you can see uh like behind of or like you know you can see at the back what it is then you can keep it never or by mesh name or whatever there is but i will keep it all face so curvature same i will not change anything now position position is basically a fact that you add on your object okay and you have choice to see that effect on the whole object as a one piece to do that your normalization scale should be full seen. So suppose if I'm applying a uh, effect like a oil spill. So the oil I want on the whole object. I don't want the, uh, the oil to be only over here or in front. I want it on the whole object. So I will keep the normalization scale full seen. 
So in this way, what will happen is that whenever I will apply that sort of effect, it will be always over here. Okay. So that's what I will keep it as it is here as a full scale, full scene. Now I want to uh, bake all my textures. Okay. Texture, all those textures which are inside the list. Okay. All of them. So not only texture set, but all of them. So what I will do is that I will not click over here. If I will click here, it will only bake this texture set. I will click here, bake all texture sets. So this will bake all the texture sets. So as soon as I will click on it, you can see that it will start baking the textures. Okay. So it will take some time and then it will bake the textures. And you can see interactively, uh, interact, uh, interactively what is happening behind. Okay, let's keep on applying. So right now uh, we are, uh, and it's showing you the de like the details of, of where it is uh, baking. Okay, once it is done, hundred percent, you can press OK. Now you can see it looks a little different. Why? Because now you have ambient occlusion on it. Okay, before it was not baked, so we were not able to see ambient occlusion, but now we can see the ambient occlusion. Okay. Also, if I will press C, now you can see the detail. We don't have the normal, so don't have to worry about this. Okay. Base color, we don't have, a, we have not applied anything yet. Okay. Height, we have not applied any, anything yet. Roughness, metallic, they are all empty right now. The only thing that I'm looking for is the, uh, basically, uh, like uh, ID. So if I will go to ID, you can see that this is the same ID. If you remember, and our previous lessons, we created this in Maya. And as it is, it is brought down here. Now it is perfectly working fine on all these uh, of, uh, like uh, parts. Okay. So this is how you can get your uh, ID maps here. So I hope you now have understood about how to bring the file, how to bake the textures, and the other important parts. So guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel uh, now, click on the bell icon and also share it with your friends and please watch the videos uh, online to not download and uh, we'll meet in the next class. So we can continue from here and we'll start texturing, painting our this television and we'll try to make it look very much first, uh, like, you know, attractive. So everyone take care and we'll meet in the next class.